Alrighty, folks. Welcome on back to Cyber Knights Flashpoint. Uh, I don't remember Bengal's turn being first. But that's all right. So we wanted to see what this... Oh, yeah, that's the remote control unit. Security devices. Doors, gates, and machinery. Remote security devices. Okay. I may need to look at both of these. <laughs> but for now, we have one sleaze loaded. Let's load a deception. And let's... Let's come see what the remote control unit's going to give us. Damage cyber deck when taking the actions. Prevent remote controls and applies until disabled. Oh, this is the main door. It's 20 AP to override? Dang. All right. I think I need to do both. Because this is, this is grayed out. All right. That's it. The barrier's down. You asked, and the data stream's delivered. All right. Operators, disengage now and fall back to the Syndicate Data Center's main gate. But we're not ready to go yet. I still have stuff to get. Okay. So I don't have to worry about loading anything here. So we're going to load sleaze, and we're going to load disarm. And then I'm going to see how many of these we can get. Prevents download. Triggered if you load. Ha, 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 ha. All right. So let's sleaze this. Now, I think it was Tim, right? Tim mentioned it in a comment last time. I think it was Tim. I could go with someone, and that way I keep myself safe. But <laughs> um, that these take up storage space. Well, I'm pretty sure they take up storage memory, which is how much room our like programs take, not the active working in outs or the active memory, which is like what I have loaded. Um, so let's grab nothing changed. Nothing down here changed at all. Interesting. All right. Well, let's come here. I still have everything loaded. So here we've got triggered if you load, prevents download. Well, then we're just going to sleaze these guys. Am I really going to be able to get all of this in one shot? Maybe. I still want to see what... Oh, yeah, that's straight up the remote security devices, which I don't really care about. How do you remotely log into these things? That's what I'm wondering. All right. Let's pop in here. Trigger it if you load, yeah. So let's sleaze. Let's grab these two. Am I going to be able to... No. Two, four, six, eight. Plus loading at least this puts us at 13. There are five per download, so I would not be able to do it this turn. However, on the flip side of that, if I'm like here or here at the beginning of next turn. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for reactivating all I see. 
Yeah, see, it's going to zero me out to connect here. So I'm actually going to stay on this endpoint node. I don't remember Bengal's turn being first, but the rest of this looks correct. Well, and next turn, two turns. Bengal's body timer is now back. Wait, wait, that's that's not the right one. Um, yeah, see, he still has two turns on faked vitals. So I wouldn't even be able to disconnect him, run over to one of these bodies, and take care of it. This one is going to alert no matter what, currently. Um... So you'd be within range, you'd be within range. I'm actually going to throw a look ahead out here to see what these guys are doing. You're going straight that way, and you're going to go behind everything. Okay. Does this provide... It provides partial cover, but I'd rather not... All right, and then iron, we're going to use her. Wait, does antis did I just use anticipation on somebody, like, not two turns ago? I thought it was this guy, and we still have a five-turn cooldown? Oh, all right. I think some of this stuff changes over, like, it doesn't remember who had what over um over over saves interesting i'll have to test that pay more attention to it see you know see what it uh does or doesn't do so we're barely about to hit sec level 1 barely i'm going to end woods turn she doesn't have anything. It's just waiting for these guys to get in place. All right. Very interesting. These guys are now way out of the way. Yep. There's sec level one. Should also be... Oh, it is end of current turn, end of next turn. But his is... Is that it comes back next turn? Maybe. We might be able to scurry him over here and, and nix this dead body. But this one's definitely gonna, gonna go. Because I don't have any way to deal with it this turn. Of course the camera's back up. Why wouldn't it be? All right. How do I want to do this? I want Bengal to go first. Because I can grab the last two pieces of data and potentially switch off all of the pieces for four turns. We deal with this guy. And then I think we just book it. Someone did suggest check the Matrix host, the other Matrix host, to see if they are different. That's not a bad idea, but that uses up time. And the optional objective is keep sec below two, and we're about to get one extra pip for this. I don't think any of these guys are going to hear us for um, beta, but I love how... We're, we're still completely hidden and we've taken out three guys like that by itself is insane so here's my question and I'm actually going to try it but here's my question if we run over here with lemon obviously we're going to get spotted by this guy at minimum by the camera which is why I want Bengal to go first um but since he is the one that spotted Lemon, 
when he's dealt with, would Lemon go back to hidden? So we're going to delay. Oh, that lets Beta go first. Ooh. Beta's going to probably alert on wood. Coming this way. All right, that's fine. All right, so if I yield you, you would go... Ooh, I could make Beta go this way. Or even turn around to investigate the sound. The sound of lure. Or I could just straight up kill him. Because I could use lure and silence and just probably take him out. All right, I'm going to yield. Bengal's going to go. We're going to pop over here. We're going to increase his node security tally triggered if you take any action. So we're going to disarm this. We're going to so we're going to sleaze the data lock. We're going to grab both of those. Uh, I am going to reload a scan. And I'm going to reload a deception. And we're going to connect. Connect. This one has reduced his action points, which just takes a tremendous ton of them. This is damages connection. Sweet. I'm going to even scan so that I can see what's here. And we need a trap. Or a disarm. Okay, they're all five. Triggered if you use a cyberdeck program. Prevents remote controls. All right, so let's disarm. Let's disarm. Which one's the pressure sensor? All right, I don't need to worry about that one. Which camera is this? I do want to turn that camera off. Which camera is this? I don't need to worry about that one. See, they're all camera A1, so it's not like I can, you know, trust which one is which. Oh. Oh, interesting. All right. Do I need to go to this one to hack the others then? Quite possibly. Of course you did. Damages connection when you take any action. Well, I'm just going to leave. Man, some of these take so much. Prevents connection use and applies until disabled, which means I, I can't move? No, I can move. No, I can't. What do we got here? I take any action. I don't care. I'm just going to... Oh, I do care, but that's okay. Damage the connection. Load here. Damages cyberdeck. Damages connection. I have to turn both of these off, right? I have more cyberdeck, so we're going to do security, and then we're out. I really don't want to suffer from dump shock. But I also don't want to sit here for another turn. All right, it's fine. Okay, so that actually means that we have to jam kit this. And then turn the guard around. How many do you have left? Four? Well, here's a question first and foremost. I didn't mean to do that, but that's all right. I hit space instead of C. Can I get here within two and still attack? No. I do have slash slide, though, which also takes two. All right. Well, let's move here. 
And then we're going to do another stealthy slash slide, which I'm finding just absolutely hilarious. Wait, I can slash slide all the way over here and still take him out? Okay. Boop. And she can still move, too. I, I, I always forget just how... How strong, how how fast she can be, essentially. Like, that's nuts. All right. We don't have anybody on this side of the map. Just these two guys. So I'm actually going to start, start moving everybody this way. Because Bengal only needs to do a couple things. Next turn. These guys are no no aware. Oh. Phew. All right. How far can you make it? Right next to iron. Should have been leaving each one of these with an additional one, but that's all right. All right, here we are. Bengal's at 12. Yeesh. Yeah, we need to just go. I can't worry about what what's in that other node. I need to just go. Especially since he's going to take between two and three turns just to get there. Reiki. All right. I want the double. No, I want the double. Oh, yeah, that's right. I've been meaning to save an AP. Oh, no, don't go through there. You have to go this way. No, you have to go this way. <laughs> the motion texture will detect you. No kidding. Really? Is that what that's going to do? Oh, okay. Had no idea. Jeez. Oh, there is a guy back there. Okay. Screw it. We're just going to take out the motion sensor. Is it because I'm behind this? Yes. All right, Bengal. How far can you go in one turn to there? Uh, I should have thought of that guy, but that's all right. I'm hoping that he goes over the... I guess I could see. I guess I could use look ahead. Can I get both of these guys? No. All right, then let's do it like in the middle of the bridge. Where are you going? You're pretty much going to stay right there. Interesting. All right, well, then we're just going to sneak over here. And end our turn. Omni's going to keep patrolling. And Z is suspicious. So he's going to come up the to the stairs. Oh, he actually came up the stairs. <laughs> we got out of there just in time. All right, so Z goes first, then all of our guys. Which means I kind of have to worry about Delta, but kind of don't. 
All right. Would you be able to see lemon? The answer is yes. Dang it. <laughs> it's all right. We're already spotted. Oh, we can't make it. <sighs> Dang it. I should have trusted my gut. Should have trusted the gut. All right. Well, then let's go to like here. Dang, this is going to knock us up just because. Could I have, though? No, because. Lemon's gunshot would have alerted this guy. And Bengal. It's all right. We're going we're gonna to keep it. I could reset the turn. It is true. Yeah, no. Should have trusted my gut. <laughs> the things you learn, the things you learn. So it's nice. They can... Actually, I guess it's not nice, but they can see up. You're making a lot of fuss down there. Let's get this done before Brave Star wakes up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're out this turn, but, you know. <laughs> it was a bit louder than we'd planned. It won't be long before Brave Star knows we passed through here. Thankfully, the Electric Jackals set up their data center in the old IT center. It's very close. Hustle up and get inside. Every second out there on the platform is another chance to be a to be seen by Brave Star spotters. Man. All right. I do think I'm going to end today's episode off here. I'd love your feedback, anything like that. Um, we are definitely going to go into to right into the Jackal's data center. But, uh, yeah, Bengal took a little bit of damage. I'm not actually sure what that was from. But had I not stood Lemon up, I think we would have gotten out no problem with, with the two-turn timer. But it is, it is what it is, and it is what it is. So we're going to start at three... Because this one's the one that says sec level would be reset. So, but all right. I hope you folks enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button down below. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and checking out some of my other content. And as always, I'll catch you folks in the next episode. Stay frosty out there. <laughs>